These are all the things that I put into my birdie bread. This is just a quick picture. I will go over all of the ingredients later. Hello, this is Melanie from Mel and Milo. Today I'm gonna to show you how I make my birdie bread for my parrot Milo. Do you see her in the back room? I will start with a base of cooked sweet potatoes and carrots. So the first thing I do is I cut the carrots into smaller chunks. I leave the skins just because I was once told that all the nutrition are in, in the skins. Hope that's true. And then I will just uh, throw it in the water, just to, like you would when you're boiling potatoes. Okay, and it doesn't have to be pretty. You just cut it into big chunks because it's going to get all mashed up later. Anyway, so once you have this big, big pile of carrots and sweet potatoes, you go ahead and put that in the boiling water. I have already cooked a uh, corn on the cob where I'm going to just remove the kernels right now. This I just did in the microwave, uh, leave, leave it in the husk and cook it for about three or four minutes and then you have nice cooked corn and I usually just cut off the kernels just like this and then add it to the bowl. There we go. This goes on the bowl. Then I have already cooked some acorn squash. Normally you can leave, you can leave the seeds. For this purpose of making the bread, I'm gonna remove the seeds. As you see, it's very nice and soft. Okay, so now I'm just gonna actually, this might get messy, so I'm just gonna use my hands. I forgot to push record, so here I am using my tiny mixer to dice the chili peppers and the paprikas. I added them to the bowl and mixed them well. I also used the mixer to shred three whole eggs with shell and added them to the bowl also. These are the roti bush these short ones and the bigger ones are the supreme natural these are the two favorites that milo has so that's why i'm going to include these i'm going to grind them up and add them kind of like a flour to the bread like a flour now it's really fine okay maybe a little coarser than flour uh, but this is perfect so with every bite he will get also some pellets this is mainly for people that have problems with their birds that won't eat the pellets so that way you include it to the bread if he likes the bread he'll get some of the nutrition of the pellets okay the quinoa is done cooking as you can see it's nice and hot still um, and I'm gonna add that to our mixture too okay so now I'm gonna, for now, because I have had added a lot of, quite a lot of things already, I'm gonna stir it up a little bit before I add any of the dry ingredients. When it's all said and done, you shouldn't need any, any moisture, you shouldn't need any water, anything to uh, bind any of these ingredients because as vegetables have a lot of moisture already so. all right so the next thing we're going to be adding is the apple
nice and fine. Okay, that should probably be it for the mixer. I shouldn't need it anymore. I like to do all the ingredients that I have to do in the mixer first. Okay, so next I'm going to be adding some sugar snap peas. Uh, these are the stringless ones, but it doesn't matter in this case because I'm just going to be adding the pods. Okay, once I have enough, I'm just going to mix them up. Try to start mixing that in. We'll have to mix it a little better later. Okay. Then I'm going to use organic coconut oil, which is solid in the in the jar. So I put it in the microwave to liquefy it, and I'm going to add it to the mixture. And now I'm ready to add all my solids. For my dry ingredients, I'm going to add some Jiffy cornbread mix. I try to mix up in between all the dry ingredients to make sure there's enough moisture and it's not going to clump up really bad. Then the next thing I'm going to add are oats. is buckwheat. going to be adding organic flaxseed. Okay. The next ingredient I'm going to be adding is organic coconut flour this I'm going to be adding almond butter it's all natural no sugar or salt added so it's basically just almonds and palm oil <laughs> I just spilled. Okay, and finally, the last two ingredients I like to add is some organic cinnamon. This is a brand new one. I like to put quite a lot. Milo likes cinnamon. 
and some chili powder. I've put a silicone liner in my on my cookie jar, uh, cookie sheet, and I will put. I'll probably be able to make two sheets with this. Okay, so now I have two sheets of the birdie bread. And this is the, the consistency that my bird likes. So it is, it is soft, so it's not crisp or any, um, not, it's not mushy either, so it's like in between. Okay, so cut it in small squares however big your, your bird is and how much you think you'll eat and then you cube it and you put it in little baggies Thank you very much for watching my video. Please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thank you for helping spread the word about cockatoos and please watch all my other videos too. Thank you.